Hello Internet, Retro Kevin here. And today's video is going to be a pretty quick one. So I want to talk about these uh, third-party uh, Tome console cards, the jumper packs. So here's an original, and here's a, a third party. You can obviously tell that there's a difference. Now, one thing that I didn't at, fir at first notice was the, the card. So this one is definitely a little rougher cut. See those edges there? And this one is rounded. Well, that does cause an issue when you're trying to get it into the system. So there was the original. Goes right in. Here's the third party. I don't want to force that. It's it's not going in any further than that without forcing it. I don't want to ruin anything on the board. So what, what I've done in the past... Now this happened with the first one that I had. I thought it might have just been a fluke. Now this is the second one. I can imagine my other one that I got from my other third console from the eBay junk is going to be the same. So very carefully, I take a little tiny file and I just file away at these edges here. Now the part of the board that we're filing isn't isn't important. It's there is a little bit on the back there that we got to be a little careful with, but if, if you're gentle with this, it shouldn't cause any issues if you're careful. Uh, I did this with my last one. After filing it down, it went right in. It's just a little frustrating that a company would sell these. I don't. Maybe it's a legal reason. You know, maybe they can uh, then claim that their cards aren't actually uh, infringing on another patent or something. I don't know. Um, there might be a legal reason why they, they do this. Because now you have to actually technically modify the product in order for it to work with your 64. Anyway. As you can see, it's filed down a little bit. And it goes right in. So that is all that I have for you today. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.